expect me to play? Hello there, I am Michael Giblin, and welcome to Michael Explains It All or Nothing at All. This is the Larson Tsigan edition. Tsigan, like gypsy, which I don't know if that's a derogatory term or not. I didn't name it, so it's not on me. Tsigan, these are a very warm, dark, broad uh, set of strings. There's some complexity, there's some conflict in the sound, which is a good thing. It's not conflict like mom and dad are fighting. It's like, should I go to Taco Bell for dinner? Like, it's delicious. But if you don't go, like, you'll probably live longer, like have lower blood pressure. I mean, it, it's win-win either way. So com com some conflict, some complexity to the sound. I think, I think they're a very nice thing, set of strings. What I'm gonna do is talk about them, obviously, as you're hearing the, this, fine, <laughs> this fine commentary that's happening right now, but also play them and compare them to some of the similarly described, similarly priced set of strings like Obligados, uh, Varkal Ambers, uh, the Larson Originals for sure, and uh, maybe the Olives, we'll see. And I'm doing all this on my Fiddler Man Artist Violin that I've been doing all these uh, demonstrations on. It's grading graph tone wheel time. I still gotta find a better name for that, but uh, let's get going. I'm gonna try not to get stuck in the weeds. I usually do. Projection, these are pretty loud. They're not They're not crazy loud. They're not like uh, gonna blow your face off kind of loud, half. It's kind of like, I probably put every string in like an eight and a half, but these are, I don't know, a good, a good, you know, healthy volume, but not like the loudest set of strings ever. And I think that, you know, is related. It feeds into, you know, all these things are sort of connected that the color and temperature that these are sort of darker set of strings. I, I do think that they're related that louder strings sometimes take on a brighter perception in, in, in your tone. So I put these pretty, um, pretty dark, pretty warm, and, and then even connected with depth that I know a lot of times the G gets a lot of the attention, a lot of the glory that we're talking about, like, oh, let's listen to how warm and deep and dark. But I hear it a lot, even on these D and A. this like very nice warmth to it, very covered, not in a good way, a nice little like, like a cozy blanket, not like a covered up your mouth sort of, of a sound, which is uh, very difficult to achieve. I don't know, I'm just making all this stuff up as I go. Moving along, response and uh, clarity, I guess I'll cover both for a little bit of foreshadowing, is 
Uh, I don't mean to sound critical or derogatory towards them, but they're, they're not really for everybody. You know, these, I think when it comes to response, they're not really the quickest set of strings. Now, they're, they're fine, they're, they're very nice, and they're not sluggish by any means. The... You know, everything is right there. It's not, it's just, they don't, they don't, like, they don't jump out at you. They're not dazzling or, like, feel like they're playing before you even put the bow on the string. Like, you might describe something like Eva Parazzi's or Pies or Visions, even, that these are a little bit more like, you must be present to win. And I'm, I'm going to get to this a little bit more, but I think they are, where these strings really shine, are for instruments that are naturally bright or naturally thin, and they need some correction because I think these do uh, lean so much more on that darker, warmer, meatier side, and I think they'll be great. I'm going to show you if you don't believe me. Um, yeah, and then just clarity, again, just a little bit of texture. There's a little bit of conflict. There's a little bit of... A little bit of that gypsy grittiness that... If there's a little bit, there's some, there's some personality, there's some growl there. And I think, um... Is every gypsy song start on the G string? Um... I guess so. I guess it's... I don't know a lot of gypsy music. There's probably lots of other good gypsy songs that aren't just soul G. There's some there's some growl, um, not not a whole lot, but but a little bit more. It's not I wouldn't describe it as this like clean crystal pure sound. Not for everybody. All right, and now it's time for the great string comparison showdown. We play these against obligados and Farco Ambers and the originals, and all of these again are played on the same Fiddlerman artist violin and two star bow. I was in different studios, so there are different acoustics. I'm sorry that they're gonna sound a little different. Um, I'm doing the best I can. You're bashed. In the words of Sean Connery, losers always whine about their bashed. Um, I won't continue the rest of that quote, you know where it goes. And uh, then, because it's not as scientific as I was really hoping for, I'm gonna do you one, I'm gonna do you a solid right here and change strings on another violin because I was sort of locked myself into doing it all on the artist violin, which is a very good sounding violin, but maybe you'd like to hear these strings on a nicer violin. So here we go after this.
bonus comparison, I have here a very nice violin. It's made by Valery Prilipko in Cremona, Italy in 2020. And it was sent to us with dominance on it. His choice, not ours. And I think the violin sounds good, but you know, dominance are pretty neutral. And the violin, I think, leans a little bit bright. So here's what it sounds like before Sigans. <laughs> interesting kind of a simple sound and I think now this that's that's some that's some real good conflict if you ask me they are a silver wound GND aluminum a carbon steel e I think those are the only options that do come in medium and strong tension as of recording um, strong will probably give you a little bit more projection a little bit more could be an interesting because that was sort of one of my criticisms was that they're not the loudest set of strings i think these were the mediums of course maybe the strongs will give you a little bit more i don't know i don't really goof around too much with tensions um that's just me uh let me know in the comments if you use the cigans before did you like them and go to something else and now you love blank more than these or uh, you used to play something else and now you found Sigans and you'll never play a different set of strings. Uh, all very helpful stuff. I love reading all the comments that in the description box below. Again, if you want to pick up a set of strings of Sigan made by Larson, you can find them at fiddlershop.com. That is our site. Just click on the links below. Thanks so much again for watching all this. We look forward to seeing you at fiddlershop.com. Thanks. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here. Right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. Bye, 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 b